Hello, Scott here, founder of We've Got Your Customer, shooting a quick video about Google's Keyword Planner. And here we are, we're at the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. You can find it by Googling Google Keyword Planner. And you must have an AdWords account in order to see this information. This is a great alternative to the paid tools that are out there. If you're on a budget and don't, or, or you don't need the extra metrics, that help save you some time in comparing different sites and seeing if a keyword is one that you should go after. A couple of the other videos that, that we've done cover how the tools can save you days or even weeks in searching out all the data that you need and that can definitely be a huge time saver and worth it if you need that. If you just need something basic to find out how many searches there are for a keyword this won't give you as much the competition and won't break that down like the the paid tools will but this is a good place to start like I said especially if you're just getting started or if you're on a, an extreme budget but uh, be sure to check out the other videos as well there's other tools that uh, for, for, for as little as 50 cents a day can give you some very very valuable information enough about that let's jump right in here must be logged into your AdWords account this is free just go on uh, Google AdWords and set up your account if you don't have one already you do not have to have you do not have to run campaigns and spend money with them to get this information although it is good to know that uh, that is basically what this is built for you don't have to use all the metrics and everything that are in here just the ones for searching out your keyword if that's your intent so Let's go ahead and search for a keyword. Uh, I, I was actually going to come up with one on the fly, but I see here that flowers and used cars is already up here. So let's go with used cars. And this is some of the other information that, that I was mentioning. Make sure that uh, if you're targeting the United States, then you have this in here. You can pick out other countries. You can uh, choose whatever you want to down to the city level. However you want to target that is fine language when they're doing with Google if you need to input any negative keywords I usually leave everything pretty much the same just just good to glance over this and make sure that everything's set up correctly again customize your search over here if you need to and that's usually if you're going to be using this for a campaign if you're just looking for um, keywords that uh, just doing a quick search to find out what's out there and how much traffic they're getting don't really need to, to do that so let's go ahead and hit our good ideas so this gives you some different ideas this is also good to use if you already have an existing account and you're just looking to see what articles you might want to write what blog posts you might want to make to see if you could start ranking for some of those for a little bit longer tell uh, search phrases so let me see used cars so if we wanted to do find a used car we're helping people find a used car find used car in my area there's people that are that are typing that in not as many people are gonna be typing it in as find used cars obviously there's 5400 there's only 90 here it's interesting that the cost per click is higher anyway what we're looking at here is the the searches the competition here this is talking about how much how many people are, are bidding for the different keywords and how, how many people they're not how tough it is going to be to rank if you write a blog post or if you create a website based around one of these keyword phrases. Another thing that is important to note here, read over this. This talks about what the what the actual average monthly searches means and it does state on here that this is we calculated the 12 month average of the number of searches for this exact keyword based on the location and search network targeting settings that you you've selected they've taken out the broad and the phrase match and that's one of the biggest issues that I've, I've seen with other SEO professionals companies and individuals alone uh, both that they were always targeting broad match search and then they would go in and talk to clients and say yeah you're getting this what this number right here would probably be 540,000 and they go oh yeah you, you get up to number one you're gonna have 540,000 people on your site not true the exact match a lot better metric on here same thing here somebody might go after find used cars in my area because that had a hundred times and they thought they're getting 9,000 searches a month and in actuality there's only 90 and only a certain percentage of those are going to click on any site that's on the first page 
So that's uh that this kind of goes through how to come up with some longer tailed keywords to target. Let's go back and see what else we have. So any of these other ones that you wanted to to uh, go after just go through scale through it'll give you some ideas some of them you'll use the exact one some of them might give you ideas that you go back and jump over and start another search one good thing to look at over here is some of the different ones that people are paying more for that that can be a good thing you can start looking at that and, and maybe start up here at car warranty maybe you want to build a site around car warranty because people are willing to pay a higher cost per click always make sure that it makes sense make sure this passes the common sense rule though so with this used car warranty you can even get in here a little bit more extended warranty for used cars there's a lot of people there maybe if you built a site around that or you started doing some really high quality blog post around that keyword that might be worth it if people are out there willing to pay ten dollars for a lead for somebody to click through not even for a lead just for a a click so just something to to keep in mind there so that's kind of your ad group ideas you've also got your, your keyword ideas here some of the same type information and you can also sort this as well and this will give you the, the keyword that's not grouped up in into the ad group so let's let's go back and look at a couple of the other things that you can do a couple of the other cool features that we have now and this put us back over as you can see right now Google AdWords by the time you get this video that may no longer even be an option that's why I'm doing this tutorial on the planner and not on the old keyword tool so enter or upload keywords to see how they perform here's where you can do your broad match phrase match and exact match exact match is what you always want to do uh, that is going to give you your closest representation of, of the correct number number of searches and even remember that when you have the number of searches you need to multiply that and I say a good rule of thumb is multiply it by 20 percent if you're gonna have the number one site for that targeted keyword I know there's some tools out there that I think there's one in 2006 that came out that everybody still quotes and uses that says 42 percent for the number one uh, site and 21 percent or 20 percent for the number two then down to 12 10 and on down on the first page uh, that, that's not typical and even less so now when you have other factors influencing the where, where people actually click on the page such as when you have stars that come up when you have the Google authorship the publisher uh, markup where you now have images that are coming up and people's eyes go directly there and so a lot of people now if you have that on your site uh, if, if you've included that and it's showing up on the rankings the what they call the search engine range ranking pages the SERPs when the top 10 results come up and even if you're not number one if you're number three four five doesn't matter if you're down there but you have an image next to you whether it's a video whether it's in uh, just an image then the thumbnail image then you can you can actually get more clicks through to your site even though you don't have that top position so something very important to keep in mind and I definitely recommend doing whatever you can to make yourself stand out so that's uh that's some information here on this another really cool tool here multiply keywords a keyword list and I've, I've used this with other other uh, tools but now they have it included here so It'd be nice if they actually included one where you could do it in reverse order to be able to check that out too but you can take your keyword list here once it's generated go back and enter or upload keywords to see how they perform plug it back into here or take it over to your keyword tool maybe you have a paid tool and this is a quick way to generate your your list that you want and and be able to plug that in right away so for, for this example what do we have used cars let's do new cars uh, old 
car. I don't know if people go in there and search for old cars. But we'll do trucks. And list two. Maybe we do down here in Tampa. So maybe we do Tampa, Clearwater, St. Peter's. If I can spell. St. Petersburg. And then we go over here. And you could even expand this again and put in Florida. FL. You can pick out a local area code. Put in some information like that that you want to, and this can give you a bunch of ideas. Then you get your estimates here. And this generated 36 keywords for us down here. So, some kind of interesting information if you want to look at that. But now you've got your keyword list down through here. Allows you to come in and so we want to select all those selected keywords. We just do it on our exact match. And let me see. I don't have a bid in or daily budget. So they may not run anything else through here, but you can see as you go through that this will pull up the other information if that's what you wanted to use this for. Just for your basic keyword research, though, this has everything that you need right here so that just generated 36 that quick so it, uh, to recap real quick great way if you're on a budget if you just need to get some keywords need to find something for blog post to yeah you what know, uh, one other note that I was thinking of just then is you can also reverse and where we had new cars over here you could actually put that in the second or the third column on the last page when it's multiplied out and get all these in reverse order as well so just another quick note there back to the recap great if you're on a budget great initial uh, place for finding keywords I do highly recommend and and use the tools 99 percent of the time over just using the the keyword planner or the old keyword tool that I used to use because this it does get into more information there there's there's basically five things you need to really look at when it comes to keyword research one is it a subject that you're passionate about if you're passionate about used cars and and writing about them and you you're really knowledgeable and you, you could just do that for free all day every day and if you could get paid for it then that's important and and it passes that test you move on to the next one is it relevant well if you build your site and it's a used car site and then you're writing information about the used cars then yes it's relevant next traffic and that's what we get here as well how many clicks how many average monthly clicks did it have we had the page that we showed that showed you how many uh, average monthly clicks you got but the one that the big one that we're miss, missing is competition come back to that in just a second the fifth one of those five is commerciality and your average cost per click here definitely shows that the other keyword tools do plug that in as well again I, I sometimes use this to come back over and just make sure the the keyword tools I'm using a lot of them pull data from here so I just want to keep them make sure that they're honest and make sure uh, that there's no bugs in the system or anything that, that the data is showing up that that's similar it's gonna be interesting here with Google Planner with them taking an average monthly if, if the numbers are still going to match up exactly with the other tools so definitely check that out as well because you want to make sure that it passes the common sense test that don't don't just take whatever keyword tools give you and say hey it's what the tool said because you can spend days weeks months building websites or writing content around keywords that you shouldn't have been writing around just because there was there was a slight bug and it pulled the information in wrong I've had it happen to me it's not fun when you find that out but back to the main factor that this doesn't cover for you is really the competition that's where the tools are really that that's where they make their money saving you the time of not targeting the wrong keywords you're able to see and it's not just the overall competition something to say hey if you got 50,000 results the top 10 I mean, if you've got 10 really tough ones, I'm say, say there's only 10 competitors, but they're all really, really strong. That's not usually the case. Usually you've got a few more that, that are pretty tough, too, or the next 10 are not quite as tough, but you get the point. But don't just say, hey, it's got 50,000. There's no way I could rank on that. 
or hey there's only there's only 10 and I could definitely make it in there if they're really tough you need to really get in there and do your research the, the tools will save you like I said days weeks e even months of of research to really pull back pull out all these metrics that you need to make a decision and target the very best keywords one last note here make sure you're targeting buying keywords if that's the intent of your site if you want somebody to make a purchase for your product or your service make sure it has buying intent if somebody's just putting in used cars what 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 are they looking for say some somebody just went in and put in cars i don't want to rank for the number one site for car actually actually wouldn't be bad because you could put some uh, other ways to monetize that on there. But if I, if I was going to target something, it would be so hard. It would take so much time and so much money to put everything into place to start ranking for cars and beat out all the major brands that are out there. So you want to get specific. You want somebody further down the buying cycle that's already knows about cars and they know what type of car. The, the, the more specific they get, the more valuable that keyword is to you. So have any questions? shoot me over an email. I'd love to help you out in any way that I can. And thanks so much for watching the video. Take care.